why should someone be interested in cryptocurrency? You've asked the best question, which is the savior of humanity, and it's just going to bring peace and prosperity to this world. The whole Man Academy podcast, Max Wright, entrepreneur, investor, author, YouTuber. The two large pizzas to my door, I'll send them 20,000 Bitcoin. No one knows what money is, why money has value, where it came from. All of a sudden, their wealth was equal to the kings and queens of Europe, the banker's wealth. Children are learning at schooling, and one thing they're definitely not learning is banking, finance, and understanding money. Sound money and relatively free markets and a relatively small government will give you the largest middle class the world has ever seen. It's an incredible gift of a decentralized censorship sound money. And the impact on the world, I can promise you within 50 years, much, much shorter time than that, probably 20 years, will be absolutely incredible. Uh, there's two competing thoughts. and Some people have both of them and talk themselves out of taking action ever. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it was also one other thing censorship resistant. The last half of this year, I am expecting to be extremely exciting. Where do you think it will be, let's say roughly at the end of the year, like $100,000? I think it'll um, it'll rush up to like $300,000. Yeah. Countries are doing that. Yeah, Pension plans are doing that. Fortune 500 companies, you name it, they're all doing it. But then when I thought about the money and opportunities that come with being a high level influencer, then I thought, ah, the venture, the venture capital opportunities, that's super valuable this concept of finding my tribe opportunities and it's good fun so i'd wonder if that's part of it as well and that is a hundred percent part of it thank you for for bringing that one up as well and to talk about privacy coins you've got monero a pirate chain etc privacy coins and bitcoin are both going to have their place in the world what i found funny when you were working with traders at all the different banks was you know it's not their money so yes if they fuck up they might lose their job and their bonus but ultimately if they're dealing with huge amounts of money uh things are very different when it's your money